ATMs are owned with Bluetooth, iOS is owned with Bluetooth and AirDrop, and Android is owned with Copypasta. All that coming up now on ThreatWire. Greetings, Internet. I'm Darren Kitchen, and this is ThreatWire for September 16th, 2015. Your summary of the threats to our security, privacy, and Internet freedom. And we start today with a fun story about sophisticated card skimmers. That's right, there is an epic read over on Brian Krebs' blog this week detailing the sophistication of some of these ATM card skimmers. We should all be aware of some of the ATM card scams involving like dubious attachments, keypad overlays, and things of that nature. But this seems quite different. This scam involves, get this, wiring a Bluetooth circuit board directly to the ATM on the inside, a feat achieved by organized criminals by bribing ATM technicians. And once installed, the, get this, encrypted payload can be downloaded to a smartphone from afar over Bluetooth. Now, Brian documents how this, you know, on his semi-vacation to Cancun and down the Mexican coast, he encountered numerous ATMs, all beaconing the skimmer's default Bluetooth signal. That signal is free to move, as in free to move your cash from your bank account. You can go to krebsonsecurity.com to read more. It's good stuff. A new Android vulnerability was disclosed that enables an attacker to bypass the lock screen even if encryption is enabled. This was documented in CVE 2015-3860. The vuln affects Android versions 5.1.1 and below, and when successfully employed, it crashes the lock screen, providing full access to the phone's home screen, the apps, and of course, ADB. The attack is carried out by opening the emergency dialer, filling in the buffer with random characters repeated over and over with copy pasta, and then opening the camera app and pasting that huge string into the password field when prompted from the settings icon in the notification drawer. And at that point, there's a little bit of fuzzing that eventually crashes the app and drops you into the home screen. Fun times. There even lets the uh, attacker enable USB debugging so you can have all sorts of fun over ADB. The vulnerability was reported in late June and a fix was released with 5.1.1 on September 9th. That version also patches some of the previously reported bugs we've talked about, Stage Fright most notably, which was the remote code execution vulnerability in the media server, or basically getting owned by text message. And let's not let the iPhone folks feel left out. This week also brings a pretty good reason to update to iOS 9. See, a critical vulnerability demonstrated by security research Mark Dowd shows how an attacker can install a trusted application on an iOS device by sending a malicious file over AirDrop. The attack requires nothing more than proximity to the target and for that device to have Bluetooth and AirDrop enabled. The malicious app is installed regardless of whether the user accepts the AirDrop file, and using enterprise certificates, that same file, the, the, the same technology that enables like organizations to install custom applications on entire fleets of iPhones, well, the attacker is then able to install a trusted app without even asking for permission. And so if even coupled with, say, a jailbreak exploit, one could really ha wreak havoc on a device. Uh, the attack relies on a directory traversal flaw, which hasn't actually been fixed, though it, the attack is mitigated in iOS 9. You can check out the video to see how the dialer app is replaced with a hello world in just seconds. And before I go, I want to give a huge thanks to everyone who supported the show on Patreon thus far. If you find value from this and you can spare even a few cents an episode, please consider becoming a Patreon over at patreon.com slash threatwire, and we may even be able to support your awesome pet pals in the next episode. And our plan is to do this three times a week as a milestone goal with a rotation of Patrick Norton, Shannon Morris, and myself, and I hope you will help us continue to keep this completely independent and ad-free. And if you can't donate, a like, a subscribe, those go a long way too. And you can find all of our other episodes, links to our social networks, and all of the other ways to contribute over at threatwire.net. With that, I'm Darren Kitchen, and I will see you on the internet.